Hey, this is Darth Ravage's 07's uh, 50th quick review. Today I am bringing to you an exclusive Amazon uh, counter punch, counter punch. Uh, got this guy, like I said, on Amazon a couple years ago. And not too long after I got it, there was a t-shirt that I wanted that uh, at the time, I didn't realize I wouldn't be able to wear it as it was a 3X and <laughs> hadn't tried on 3X in a while. So when I got that shirt in, I was, uh, not able to wear it, but this is going to go off into my other video log. Uh, I'm getting ready to start here. I'm going to do the quick review right here real quick. Uh, he turns into a nice looking sports car. And it's just a little bit of uh, trouble rolling because of the way the undercarriage is. But he uses heavily from the Combiner Wars the tech of folding up around itself and getting it into there. And this is the first one of the Com uh, Combiner, like Combiner Wars builds aesthetics that didn't uh, have the ports for doing a combined mode, but it works very really well for doing both modes and punch, counter punches uh, repertoire. And so uh, I, I wanna say uh, it came with Prima, a headmaster in, in Japan, but it didn't come with that here in America. I was just tickled to get a hold of this figure. This has been long sought after. And uh, if you got like this box art, a couple other box arts, you could do a little panorama with it. And I've got those downstairs in stasis, but I'm gonna uh, actually make my own little, uh, I don't know, guide to each little section for the Titans, for the Combiner Wars, for the uh, Power of the Primes, and uh, try to get all the artwork together in a little portfolio, keep it in there. Like some people keep their baseball cards in a book. They keep the tech specs, instructions, and that kind of... Well, they didn't have tech specs, but instructions and what have you. And try to keep it all together in one neat little spot to go along with the... I do want to keep my Combiner Wars, my Titans Return, and my Power of the Primes all in like a case. And I do get the Man Cave Lair set up downstairs. So without further ado, let me get this guy into his Autobot punch uh, mode, and then we'll review that and then we'll do the counter punch Decepticon mold which is like my favorite but uh we'll pause it and then we'll get to the rest of this review here is punch in his uh, uh autobot configuration he's got a nice tempoed on autobot symbol there on his chest he has a very optimus looking face uh, with blue carolina blue eyes not necessarily the darker Autobot blue eyes that we were used to with some figures. He comes with a single pistol there, has red hands in robot mode. Uh, he has his uh, rear windows showing in this mode. And if we do a 180, he'll tell the tell of the story of how this will get into his Decepticon mode here in a little bit. Uh, he's got extremely big kibble hanging off the shoulders. It, it hampers uh, articulation. Uh, he has the fixed Combiner Wars uh, foot articulation, as there is none, and uh, has knee. It's really nice that this it utilizes that because in both modes you can get some pretty dynamic poses even though there is no ankle rockers. And uh, they look different for each of the Autobot and Decepticon uh, double spy modes. Uh, the next one's my favorite, uh, getting him into his counter punch mode. So I'm gonna give one more brief pause and we're gonna get him over there into that. This is the least of my favorite for this figure. And uh, anyway, there's a yin and yang, I guess, to everything. So I'm gonna pause this and get him into his counter punch and then we'll finish this review. And here is counter punch in his Decepticon mode. Uh, really love the red in his eyes there. He has his Decepticon Sema Tempo really nicely on his faux cockpit. Uh, like that they, wait, or actually, that is part of the, the actual cockpit. Or, no, it's the faux cockpit. Uh, it's just really neat how he does it and it folds it up. And like this looks at the top of the car or whatnot. Uh, don't mind that the way the configuration is for this, that these hang off the side and uh, don't really affect the kibble the way it does if it's in its autobot mode. Uh, got his Decepticon feet there. Little hob bits, but that's part of the Combiner Wars aesthetic and just how this guy is able to pull this off. Uh, love the, like if I, 
the paint job on the rims, the tempo. The paint work is really great on this guy, and you can see its uh, mask is down over his Autobot face on that side or whatnot, have you. Just gonna keep going around the block here. And I chose this guy, like I said, I always wanted, I never did have the G1, I never got the timelines when that had the, the Generations uh, Sun, Sunstreaker and Sideswipe sharing the, you know, do one or the other, you get Sideswipe or Sunstreaker, Punch and Coward Punch, and um, so this guy was highly sought after, and I got a hold of a t-shirt shortly after getting this guy that a couple of years ago when I got this guy, I was not able to... Uh, actually fit in the t-shirt. I've been battling weight loss now that I'm older. I've been working IT, had a stagnant job, didn't realize I was, how bad out of shape I was getting, I was eating out, all the things that you do, the bad habits. And this is the beginning of the spinoff channel. Uh, I'm going to do a vlog here and uh, hopefully encourage people to uh, get out and get active and uh, do more. So uh, what had happened was, is I went to the beach in 2000, 16 with my family to Atlanta Beach in North Carolina and uh, had been playing with the kids and it was the last time I took my shirt off that summer uh, after I realized that there was a beach well in the sand playing with his kids building a sand castle and I was just ashamed and disturbed and appalled all at the same time that I let my health go that bad. When I met my wife back in 1995 I weighed 225 pounds as a basketball player uh, right out of Mars Hill uh, just north of where I grew up and uh, I was in really good shape back then uh, you get in the hustle and bustle of life and then you, you, I got my degree in, in information technology and got caught up in that whole world for 12 years and uh, I've uh, had to make some I had to make some changes and the job I had at that point in time uh, there he had a yoga program that they do at lunch, lunchtime yoga. And I did do that some because I did some P90X back in uh, 2010 and that worked to lose some weight. I was nowhere near this out of shape back then. But uh, went to the racket club through that company as well that had the yoga and I did start doing laps. But I didn't start doing laps religious, religiously until a couple years later when I went to a different job and that job I'd offer uh, for every month that you did either 16 gym visits or you did uh, 2,000 steps of the Fitbit, you were able to get $60 a month. And you do that for three months, you get a $150 boat health bonus incentive. So the whole time I worked there from 2018 to October 2019, I was, when I started that, I weighed 455, guys, and could not wear that shirt I was telling you about. And now I'm going to actually reveal... Uh, myself in the shirt because I'm just so very proud. I want to inspire people to get out there and do the little things like if you can't run, go swim. Or if you can't swim, there's there's treadmills, there's bikes, there's all, or even just go walk around uh, you, uh, your neighborhood or whatever. But get out there and get to walk and do the low impact uh, stuff and start eating better and eating right. I was eating out way too much back in 2016. And I did the little things there. I stopped eating out, stopped doing the, the bad habits there. Uh, I had, uh, before all that had even started, I stopped drinking Mountain Dew back, back at the end of 2011. So when 2012 came, I've been dry from Mountain Dew because I had a really bad Mountain Dew habit. But then uh, uh, I stopped eating out. Here recently, I had stopped uh, working at that job in uh, October 2019 to do the stuff here at home and to sell my cruises and ink stuff. I was having a little bit of trouble running into that coronavirus and whatnot, but I'm just extremely proud and I'm going to actually switch this thing around here, hopefully live. I don't know if it'll do it, but I just want to show you how, how much weight I've lost. I'm going to finish this review off and finish the story for the vlog for the weight loss, but I've lost 100 pounds doing that, so I'm back down under 350 now. And I'm able to put on the shirt with this punch and counter punch with Power of the Primes on it. And uh, just hope that you guys will uh, be encouraged and enthused. And I'm going to also uh, start, you know, like I said, a video log of getting back in shape. I'm going to continue to get back in shape. I'm at four, ages 45 now. My goal is to, to get in such a good shape to be at 225 pounds again. That's what the, the weight was whenever I met my wife. And... Uh, I'm going to hopefully dunk a basketball again because I love that was my love before I 
fell into adulthood. Anyway, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, uh, subscribe, uh, hit that like button, comment below, and uh, ring those bells for the new video notifications. I'll have that vlog coming up pretty soon. And thank you again for tuning in to my 50th uh, review. Uh, this was Punch Counterpunch, a Amazon exclusive. Have an excellent day till all are one.